China is synonymous with opacity, obscurity, and secrecy. Think about it. We still don't know how many people died of the Wuhan virus in China or how many Chinese soldiers died in last year's Galwan clash. We also don't know how many people died at the Tiananmen Square on this very day 32 years ago. China champions the art of clamping down. Thirty-two years ago, on this very day, China massacred democracy. It declared a war on its own people. The battleground was Beijing's Tiananmen Square. The story begins on the 15th of April, 1989. Leading reformer and former Communist Party chief Hu Yaobang had died. Chinese students poured into the Tiananmen Square to mourn Hu's death. Soon the mourners began demanding reforms. What kind of reforms? Democracy and liberty. Students submitted a letter listing their demands to the government. The reply came in the form of a stinging editorial. The Communist Party mouthpiece called the students planned conspirators. The students were enraged. Thousands from across China came to Beijing to join these protests. On the 13th of May, they began a hunger strike. Five days later, students began to faint. On the 19th of May, Communist Party chief Zhao Ziyang visited Tiananmen Square. He urged the students to disperse from the square. They did, they did not. On the 30th of May, students unveiled a 33-feet statue at the square. It was called the Goddess of Democracy. Three days later, everything changed. 9.55 p.m. 3rd of June. Authorities asked people to stay away from Tiananmen Square. Soon the lights went off, tanks started rolling in, troops marched in. The order from the CCP was to vacate the square by 6 a.m. Chinese troops fired at unarmed students. Sounds of gunfire were heard throughout the night. The goddess of democracy was pulled down. No one knows how many students were killed that night, but along with them died the hope for democracy in China. Beijing swore to never allow protests to reach the scale of Tiananmen. It rewrote its playbook to ensure no space for political reform and human rights. China redefined socialism. Everything was done to ensure that history does not repeat itself and the ghost of Tiananmen does not resurface. So some 30 years later, when the echoes of this protest were heard in Hong Kong, China slapped an outrageous law. It outlawed secession, subversion, and collusion with foreign forces. China could not deploy tanks to downtown Hong Kong. So it crippled the city-state with a security law. It induced fear in the hearts of people by arresting key figures of the Hong Kong pro-democracy movement. One year on, Hong Kong's annual candlelight vigil in memory of Tiananmen Square has been banned. The site has been sealed off. Its organizer has been arrested. Why? Apparently, Wuhan virus. I must stress that an authorized assembly is an offense. In fact, it is a very serious offense that facing the penalty of a maximum of five years imprisonment. The June 4th Museum in Hong Kong has also been shut down, apparently over a licensing probe. China can suppress the demand for democracy, but it cannot silence it. What you see on a screen is the pillar of shame. It's a structure in Hong Kong that commemorates the Tiananmen Square victims. Earlier today, students of Hong Kong University gathered in front of the sculpture. They laid flowers. 
they observed a moment of silence. The spirit of Tiananmen Square is still alive in the students of China. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken tweeted, June 4th is the 32nd anniversary of the PRC's deadly crackdown in Tiananmen Square, killing thousands of protesters, simply calling for their rights and freedoms to be respected. Human rights are universal and all governments must promote, protect and promote them. Well, here's something you should know. 32 years back, the US was shy of calling out China. Today, it is taking the dragon head on. Many other countries like America have changed their approach towards China in the last couple of years. They have come to realize that China cannot be allowed to terrorize people at home and outside. In 1989, China killed unarmed students and threw all details under the table. 31 years later, it provoked Indian soldiers in Ladakh and suffered heavy casualties, but covered up the numbers again. The same year, China also exported a virus, one that went on to kill millions of people across the world. But once again, China scrubbed all records. Nothing was shared, either on the virus or its origin or the real death toll in Wuhan. In 1989, China was globally isolated for the Tiananmen Square massacre. 32 years later, anti-China sentiment is at the highest since the Tiananmen Square massacre. And I'm not saying this. A dossier by China's Ministry of State Security is saying this. Sooner or later, the world will make China pay. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.